Why, hello. Hey. Today is day 18 of Veda. And we are draped in fabulous fabrics. Because we're getting ready for Dapper Day. Dapper Day. And you may not be able to tell right now because we just have a pile of fabric on my couch. But we've got a special guest. <gasps> it's... Hi. Our good Hi. friend, David McCarthy. Oh, my Hi. God. Of David for Disney. How are you, David? I'm doing good. I'm hot. We had a minute. that fabric for a while. <laughs> it was probably like five minutes. But if I had to choose a fabric to be stuck under, I'm yes. satisfied with this one. It is very fabulous. So we, like many of you, are getting ready for Dapper Day. It's just, what day is it? It's Wednesday. Just a few days away. Dapper oh, Day God. weekend is coming. Uh, and if bless. you don't know, David is an amazing, amazing, amazing artist. Yeah. Oh, what? Oh, he what? makes oh. garments. I first of all, he <laughs> makes. I'm gonna put some up right now so people can see Whoa. what you do. Whoa. He makes. Whoa. Some, right <laughs> he makes beautiful, beautiful gowns, cosplays, <laughs> dresses, and he makes them just out of thin air. He makes it look so easy. I know it's not. <laughs> I've seen this man make a skirt in like ten minutes. It sounds like a magic. cat can in five. Like He's magic. truly a magical being. Um, so, David, I guess what we want to talk about today is what do you do to prepare for Dapper Day? What do you have going on oh, right now? What are you making? What I have a lot doing? of stuff to finish. Um, so, I'm like doing something little on everyone in like the group that I normally go with. Looks like we all have something that I'm fixing or adding to, like making a cape for Stephanie. And I'm like changing my sleeves on my dress shirt to be more glamorous and making a caftan. Um, and then I'm making a caftan for Jeff. And we're all matching, we're all like dark regal, like maroon and Ooh, black and gold. Sounds fancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very exciting. Um, and then I'm making pants for Miss Erica. Don't tell them who, I'm Disney bounding, but here's a sneak peek <gasps> of what's gonna be happening. Do you think you know who it is? It's who not is Sully. It? It's not you Sully. Thought oh it yeah, Sully, yeah. Didn't it's not Sully. It's not Condiments. You have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm going to help make a turban thing for your look. Yes, and this is also a sneak peek as to my Dapper Day Disney Bound, but y'all ain't going to guess it because it's so obscure. Like, <laughs> I could even say the name and y'all be like, who? <laughs> so, um, she's the genie's she, lamp. Yeah. Oh, good. Right? His like, name is no. Greg. no. <laughs> yeah, right. But this, uh, the this is a insane oh, hint. If you, like, once you see who I am, you're going to be like, dang, that fabric is spot on. And I'm going to be like, yes, yes, it is. <laughs> I but love yeah. it. So David, let's talk, let's talk a little bit about what you do. I Just sleep. tell us about you. Mostly sleep. <laughs> He's it's not good. lying. Um, he sleeps a lot. Sleep is good. Boy. Sleep is good. <laughs> um, but when I'm not sleeping, I make dresses. Um, and I don't know. I got a lot to explore. I don't know what this next year holds for me. I don't know what more things I'm going to be making. More dresses. More bigger dresses. <laughs> Just get bigger every time. I um, yes. Although I recently yeah. attended two weddings. Two fabulous oh, yeah. weddings for which David had quite a hand in he did bridesmaids dresses yeah. for two of my really good friends yeah, um colette so who you saw in an earlier episode she had a wonderful wedding and you did the bridesmaids dresses mm -hmm. for that as well as some of her bridal looks and then our good friend brianna who yeah. i had the honor of being maid of honor and no, and so i got to wear one of david's dresses Ooh. and hers were all princess inspired and they all had different colors and we all had different looks for yeah yeah, and so those were really amazing. It was fun. Yeah. It was, it's a lot to knock out a lot of bridesmaids dresses at once. And I'm doing it two more times at least this year. Oh, wow. And I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> it's so much to do at once, but yeah, it's so worth lot. it. Yeah. yeah, it's really, they always come out so amazing. I'm always like just blown away by what you do. Oh, I yeah. like to play around with it. I yeah. like to have fun. <laughs> David, you're like a jack of all trades though. Because like sure. besides being a designer, you're also like a performer. The first time I met oh. this guy. Oh, yeah. He was Freaking Wendell Fritz Anderson. Yeah, that's right. I forgot that's when you met him. That's literally, I mean, he didn't know who it was. Like, it was a meet and greet, like, during an event. So, <laughs> it's not like he was like, oh, my God, I remember you. Because it was a line of people. Yeah, I pictures. have no memory. Like, why would you? Why would you? But... I remember, and uh, eventually I was like, hey, I, the first time I ever saw you or met you in person, you were how like did, one of my favorite witches. How did that even happen? How do you get to be Winifred Sanderson <laughs> on the stage of the El Capitan? So, so it was really random. So I cosplayed it at D23, 2015, and then I like reposted a picture from it the day that the show opened in Walt Disney World for the Villain Spectacular, and I was like, break a leg, like I'm sure it's gonna be great. And it is, like, oh my gosh, Spectacular. Oh yeah, so I don't want to talk about it. Yeah. I don't want to talk about it, I'm salty. An incredible we don't have it. <laughs> I'm salty, we don't have um, it. And then someone tagged Kenny Ortega in it and was like, oh my gosh, look how great these guys look. 
And I was like, oh, thanks. Like, how kind. Oh, thank you. And then Kenny Ortega commented on it um, and was like, oh, yes, wonderful. How was the show? So I don't know if Kenny Ortega noticed that I wasn't from the show. I don't know. Casual. Kenny Ortega uh, just I know, commented. Right? <laughs> <laughs> like, what? Just so casual. Yeah. You know, um, and then, like, two weeks later or so, two weeks later or so, weird. Um, I like was going to send them out here for something and then that fell through and I was kind of bummed about it. I was like, oh, I guess, oh well, like at least I have some new purpose for the Sarah Sanderson bodice because I'll never use them again. And I like made a Rapunzel that matched the bodice because um, I was like, I'll never need her again, it's fine. And then I sent the Rapunzel out to a friend to wear out here. And then as soon as I got home from shipping it, I, it was, I got a message on Instagram DM from Kenny Ortega's Instagram and was like, hey, would you like to come out to blah, 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 to, wear the costumes for the El Capitan and like I was like uh, oh, oh yeah yes, yes. He says no to Kenny Ortega. No. You don't I would rather no not thank yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. um, so then we came out and we just did a meet and greet that first year and it was only for the opening night and then the next year I was as we were like getting up to it I was like well now we have time to plan and I'm a singer so like here's audio of me singing and put yes, a spell on is. you and I, they were like oh cool okay great let's do it and I was like Great. I thought they would have to have so many more legal things to have to work through, but I guess not because it's like Hollywood and it's just, it seems like maybe the process is a lot easier. But, and then like, right, I wrote the dialogue for the script, which is like a really short, it like, was cute, so great. like, kitschy, it was so good. like, reference, just about reference the movie a billion mm -hmm. times it and was people great. will love it. Um, yeah. I loved it. Yeah, just repeat lines. Yeah. <laughs> people were like, great. <laughs> yes, and we're all like, ah! You like Disney <laughs> She said it! <laughs> Um, and then I gave it to them and I thought they were going to be like, oh, we can't use all of this because we can't use specific quotes because the stage show at Film Spectacular can't use specific quotes. Like none of the quotes are direct. What? They never mentioned, really? they're not allowed to mention the kid or the, like any of the kids and they're not allowed to mention the Black Flame Candle or the book. Oh, I guess like, I didn't notice that. Yeah, I, didn't I mean, notice and like, that. it doesn't matter You don't say book? Yeah, they don't say <laughs> book. I do know they say a muck, a muck, a muck. Yeah. They do yeah. say so a muck, So they have yeah. like, yeah. Um, but other than that, like, there's no, like, direct quotes. Like, she says, like, why was I cursed with such sisters? It, oh, and she doesn't she say idiot. idiot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so all these random little things that they could do. Maybe just softening it for the children. I guess Disney so. World. And then, like, also, like, I was like, a child yeah. when I saw that. What is I going mean, on? I mean, we all <laughs> right. like a yeah. generation. Right? <laughs> I was like, and you're right, because they say virgin a lot. And as an adult, I'm it's like, like, the majority of the film. Yeah. 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 It's like the whole plot of the film is, like, He's a virgin. Yeah. like, wait a minute. It's like, he's, like, 16. He's fine. He has plenty Amazing of time. Though. That's my dream come true. It was so great. And then I guess this last year was the third year. Wow, it doesn't feel like it's been that long. Yes, yeah, so yeah, yeah, I was, was the there. I think cool. I was there for all three. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> I like Hocus Pocus. She's a fan. I'm a fan I'm of fan. Hocus Pocus. It's so good. <laughs> it's it really, really holds it's up. It's also great to see it on the big screen. If you love the movie, like mm -hmm. I grew up loving that movie, like that's awesome. And then oh, to yeah. add a stage show too. For sure. <laughs> for sure. So being a creator of garments and clothes mm -hmm. and you can literally whip up just about anything he's gonna make me some curtains oh I love <laughs> um I love so do so you always make your own dapper day outfits or not really actually outfits? i think this is the first time i'm making anything for myself right yes okay other than like a tie i think i've definitely made a bow tie or a tie before okay to match something but normally i don't because i mean men's fashion in, in general is really boring comparatively true, true. Yeah. um so it's not like oh i really want a different silhouette this year it's like you can't, it's the same silhouette. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be a vest and pants and a shirt. That's a really and good point. Yeah. Um, and also, I have the talent, but not the time or the patience with which to make a coat or a vest. I'm like, no, no, no desire to make that. I've seen men make their own jackets and vests, and it seems like it's hard. It's a difficult. Process. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's harder than like dresses. So much more difficult. Yeah. Well, especially because I have like a mode of operation that I live in. Like probably most of the like the princess gowns I make, where it's like full corset stuff, is probably stuff that most people look at and they're like, oh, I could never. I never would have the patience mm -hmm. or the time. And then I look the other the other way. I'm like, well, I'm used to doing this one. You've got like a system now. Yeah, yeah like I probably sense. could start. I could, eat, you know, if I worked for like a year making random coats every once in a while, I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, yeah it's easier. Sure. That makes sense. Makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah, but this year I am. I'm making a bunch of stuff. Like I'm ad I'm adding things to um, different looks nice. just to make them a little more fun, a little adding more a little feminine. Flair. Yeah, okay. I can't wait to yeah. see that's it. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, that's so cool. And you'll be at Dapper Day both days. Yes. Okay. Any Ooh. hints about your looks, or you want to keep it a um, surprise? Yeah, well, this is Sunday. <laughs> for this is for Disneyland. Okay. Mm. I'm so happy about it. Very lush. Um, oh, it's so pretty. Like and it. then Orlando 
we're doing like a floral thing on one day, like a pastel and floral, but like mm. it's spring, isn't everyone? Yeah, be in for sure. Floral? Um, and then nautical on Sunday, which I'm excited about Ooh. because that's the actual theme for Dapper Day this time. Oh, it's I didn't nautical. realize that. Yeah, there's a okay. lot of, the merch is so cute. It's is that like, for both parks? Like Disneyland yeah. and Disney World? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I had no I didn't had know. known I would have had like a Donald Duck prepared. Yeah. Or... <laughs> but yeah, that's so great. Um, David currently does have a shop. Where? I do. I always forget. Yes. <laughs> Let's plug your stuff. Uh, so I've started making skirts, and I'm trying to knock out more. Um, once I get back to Orlando, I have a bunch of fabric. Like I have like hundreds and hundreds of yards of fabric that I'm like, I don't need this for a cosplay. I might as well make it into something else. Um, and so I started making skirts. I need to make more, um, but they're really fun. I like making skirts because it's all about the fabric and like what fabric you choose, mm -hmm. and it's quick and easy for me. Like it's a pretty s simple process, and it's just like. Oh, look at this lush fabric that I don't feel like a lot of stores sell like a beautiful lace skirt like no one sells yeah. that I probably should go into Disney bound stuff even more so when it absolutely. comes to these skirts because oh, it's absolutely. like a lot yes. of stuff that you want that would be easy to produce and is like really cute mm -hmm. and has a good like a lovely aesthetic to it that would be perfect for Disney bounds that just doesn't exist because like like that Moana skirt like yeah most stores like because if a store is selling it they have to sell thousands upon thousands of it to people all over the country like who's gonna like that's it's not very and it's perfect for bounding because it's subtle. It's not yeah. like, oh, I'm wearing a costume dress. It's yeah. like very subtle. It's still fashion. And also, I mean, you've probably heard this, but I know you're a modest person, so I'm going to oh. brag for you. Oh, what? So I've heard so many people say like, oh, I would love to wear a David for Disney costume, but they may not be able to commission a full costume. Yeah. So that takes a lot of time and effort mm -hmm. and moolah. But yeah. like, here's your opportunity to like maybe check out one of David's skirts or just something yeah. on a smaller scale that you can just kind of wear to Dapper Day or... Yeah. Just out, so make sure you check him out. You can also find him at David for Disney for more of his cosplay stuff and his Disney inspired things. And now, apparently, only Route 66. Like, my whole Instagram this last really? month has just been Route 66. Oh, yeah, it's because of your because of that trip. trip. <laughs> like, I look through it and I'm like, oh, I post like three Disney photos. <laughs> Oopsie poopsie. But still relevant because cars. Yeah. We're going to say oh, that. I just yes. went to, it's David for cars. Yeah. <laughs> Go Pixar. On it's time for Pixar, yes. like yes. Fast, Pixar Pier. <laughs> it just all works out. All the Pixar. Things. All the Pixar. Well, we're gonna keep getting ready for Dapper Day. David's got quite a bit of work to do. Something now. <laughs> but David, thank you so much for joining us Yay, and hanging out. With thank me. you guys. And uh, you can follow David at give me your handles. Oh, uh, David for Disney. David for Disney. And David McCarthy Designs, which is new. Yes. Ooh. And you can find us at Disney Benches on Twitter and Instagram. Please like, please subscribe, and we'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for tuning in. It's oh, Disney benches. benches. Also, we twirl our hair when we're on the bench. We yes, twirl we, twirl, we sit on the bench and twirl, twirl our hair. hair. We sit on a couch today. but Sitting on a couch, twirl our hair. It's a bench. <laughs>